great to win. Obviously, we're excited. It's good to be 1-0 on the week. You know, there's either each week there's either 1-0 or 0-1, and, and it's good to be 1-0 on last week. So it was a wild game. Haven't had one like that in, in a while. In fact, I'm, I don't remember the last one. So that was good. Um, and then now it's on to uh, Weber. It's always uh, exciting to play the, some of the original Big Sky Conference teams, and, and uh, we won't read a bunch into their loss last week because I, I firmly believe they got caught looking ahead. I think they're far better than uh, than they played last week, and, and we're not going to get fooled by that, certainly. So they're a tough-minded team. They're disruptive on defense. Um, their offensive line is extremely well coached and uh, skilled at wide receiver and running back. Going to be a handful for us this weekend. Questions? Coach mentioned Weaver's offensive line. They've had the same offensive line coach forever. So do they look like old uh, offensive Weaver offensive lines that you've seen in the past? Yeah, I think. I don't, I don't know exactly what that means, but um, they, they're a good-looking group. They're big. They're physical. Again, Brent does a great job coaching them. They're well coached. He's been around a long time and knows what he's doing. Seems like Weber generally is uh, really good up front on both sides of the ball. Do you feel that that evaluation is true about this Weber team? And what do you think of their defensive front? Uh, they've got good size. They're physical as always. Um, they're they're uh, year in year out. No, we didn't play them last year, but most years we do play them, and uh, they've generally <clears throat> got good size on the defensive line in particular. And uh, everybody's O line's big. Um, they're active. Uh, they've got a they've got a good temperament about them. Um, that's throughout their whole team, but but it's uh, the tone gets set with the with the front. Eric, uh, looking back at the game, all the tight ends getting involved. A couple touchdowns for you, Jake Schaefer had the big catch. Just speak to that group and you guys making that impact this last week, both in the receiving and blocking game as well. Yeah, no, it's it's great. Um, obviously, we got to be ready when our our numbers are called on uh, to make plays. And, you know, ultimately, we just stick with the game plan and do what it takes to get 1-0 each week. As you look back at 700 yards of offense, 52 points, just what was clicking with that with the offensive unit? Why were you guys able to put up those kind of numbers? Yeah, I mean, it starts with the run game, obviously. And Logan had a huge game, but having 360 yards of rushing is huge. And that just opens it up for everything else. And that's what we did. And Trevin, you've got history with Weber State, obviously. What do you know about this group and what kind of stands out about them? And like Coach mentioned, maybe the record isn't indicative of how good this team is. And what do you know about them? Yeah, um, we always know they're, they're always good. Um, <coughs> I've watched a little bit of them. Um, they seem to be really good on the outside. Um, quarterback seems to sling it around a little bit. That back's good. Um, yeah, we're going to have our hands full. It'll be good. Eric. It's been a long time since you scored a touchdown, so how did it feel to score twice? And what is it that's kind of kept you motivated over the years to just put yourself in the spot to be ready when you're called upon? I mean, obviously it feels good to score, but at the end of the day, everyone on this team is, we're all team first guys, and we just do what it takes to win every week. And ultimately, as long as we get that done, that's <coughs> that's the main goal, so, yeah. Bobby, three receiving touchdowns by the tight ends just when you're able to incorporate them in the pass game what does it feel that adds to this offense well they're always incorporated in the pass game um so what was the second part of that so what what does it add to the offense when you're able to get the wide receivers more involved in the passing as opposed to i know they're primarily blockers but when you can get them involved well, they're receiving. Too. Yeah, we don't keep men in protection very much, so they're they're always involved in it. It's just where the ball goes, you know. And if they don't, uh, you know, they don't cover them. Certainly, our guys can catch it. And Trevin, I know you're a guy who worked your way up when you see someone who's been here for so long without getting a touchdown grab. Just what's it like for you to, to see someone like Eric, you know, make some big time plays for you guys yeah um really 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 awesome to see Barker make those plays on Saturday um Jake as well um those guys work their tails off week, week in and week out um 
and they deserve recognition just like everybody else. And yeah, really, really happy for them and, and proud of this team. So. Coach, when you watched the, the film back, what did you see uh, defensively that gave you some issues? Uh, well, there are a lot of things. Um, a lot of guys out of position. Um, you got to play your assignment. You know, it's defensive football. You got to do your 111th, and when you don't, then it can look bad, and, and at times it did. Um, specifically, giving up some big plays. Uh, I thought the quarterback running the ball hurt us. We knew that was a factor going into the game with all three of those guys, so that wasn't a big shock. Um, but yeah, you got to you got to play your assignment. You got to, you know, you got to be in your, in terms of coverage. You got to be in your uh, in your zone, and when you're when we're in zone coverage, you can't blow off your zone coverage. Um, man coverage, you got to have man eyes. You can't have dirty eyes in man coverage. And then, uh, you know, I thought our second contain on the on the scramble wasn't wasn't good enough. I wanted to ask about about Sawyer and what he's brought to the team. I mean, he's making you know tackles on special teams, but also has made some key blocks, bringing some big runs, and just kind of what he brings to the offense and, and what you like about him. Yeah, he's good. Sawyer's a good player. He, he's a versatile guy. He can he. He's a physical player uh, for, at the wideout position, which is great, both in terms of catching passes and muscling up on the on the run game. And then he's he's becoming a really fine special teams player as well. So he, he's contributing a lot of ways. Eric, walk me through kind of the, the play to Jake, kind of like from your perspective, like you know what that was like, and then when you saw him caught it, what, you know what that, mm -hmm. what, that, what that was like for you. Yeah, well, that was actually the same play that. I scored my first touchdown on, so that was really awesome to see. And I kind of called that at about halftime. I said, we're going to run that, and Jake, you're going to catch that. And so that was just awesome to see. Um, he's he's an awesome dude. He works, like Trevin said, he works his tail off. And you know it was really fun to see him finally get in the end zone. And then Trevin, what's it like you know, once you get into kind of big sky play, it's so week to week. Um, what's it like just uh, putting last week aside and trying to you know work and get better? and, and just, you know, you've been doing it a lot, that the week-to-week -week preparation just in, and what that's like for you. Yeah. Um, I mean, I kind of think it's just like it's my – the same same type of mentality I have out on the field. It's just kind of next play mentality, next week mentality. You kind of move on um, and just look at what's in front of you. What what can you do better to, to better yourself and better the team each week? And, uh, yeah, that's kind of how I attack it. Coach Weaver brings in a top 15 rushing attack. Uh, their running back, Bankson, coming off a big game. He got 500 yards on the season. What have you seen from him and their running game as a whole that kind of makes him go? You know, uh, Bankston, as Trev mentioned, is a really good player. Um, and then I mentioned earlier that their their offensive line is really well coached. So they're targeted well. Um, I think their tight ends are pretty energetic in, in terms of <clears throat> their piece to that. Um, They've got their their kick returner Butler comes in and carries the ball some. He's dynamic with the ball, so you know they've got they've got ability to move the ball on the ground, uh, play multiple personnel groups, give you a bunch of different looks. I mean they're not a uh, vanilla at all in terms of their run game. They've got a lot of run game. Anybody else? Bobby, I forget exactly what you said about special teams after the game, but you didn't seem pleased with the way you guys played and just giving up some big lengthy kick returns. Um, what do you feel you guys can do better in that area? What do you need to clean up? And then Weaver uh, seems like they have a guy who's run some big kick returns too. So just what do you see out of them returning the ball there? Yeah, we need to get off blocks and tackle better. That'll probably that'll probably you know. Punt coverage was good, uh, even though we didn't punt a whole lot. Um, in terms of kickoff coverage, we didn't get off blocks very well at the point of attack and, and, and didn't get the guy on the ground. He had a long return of 46 yards. Um, we've got to kick it better. Uh, we've got to give those guys a better opportunity by pinning the ball better and creating more hang time. But we have to get off blocks. Anyone else? Thanks, everyone. Thanks, guys.